This is Code.org. I'm currently working on CS Fundamentals. This lesson is part of both the Express course and Course D. In the Express course, it's Lesson 13, Nested Loops with Anna and Elsa. And in the Course D, it is Lesson 10, Snowflakes with Anna and El Elsa, Part 3 for both of them. So it moved over our code we've already done. Let's see now what's up. Let's make a snowflake. To turn this code into a snowflake, nest all the code inside another repeat loop and run it six times. You should only need to add one block. So what that means is it wants us to grab this repeat and put all of this stuff in here. Now, why does this work? How is it going to work? Well, we're going to be drawing everything six times, right? Yep. But this loop also inside of it will still run six times. So we'll be running this six times, well, six times, every time we run the entire code. So now we'll hit go, we'll draw a hexagon, right? Forward, 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 it repeats that six times, it then drops below, we'll turn right, we'll move forward, then we move, jump back to the center, hit the bottom, and then we do the whole thing again. I'm gonna slow this down, let's, take a look at it and watch the yellow here you can see what block is running when now we jump and then we draw another hexagon and you see how it slowly makes the snowflake and jump and now we start our third time drawing a hexagon and we do the hexagon inside the nested loop and it's nested because it's inside this big loop all right, I'm going to speed it up a bit. But da <laughs> Cool. Nested loops are super important. I'm excited to see what else we can do with them.